Hello everyone, Oracle Cloud VMware solution has introduced options wherein we can add external storage as data store on the OCVS SDDC without having to add additional host. This can be achieved by using Oracle backed file storage service or block storage service. For using Oracle backed file storage service as data store, please refer to the link in the description section. Today, we will talk about integrating Oracle Back Log Storage to OCBS ESXi host as data store. Here is a quick overview of the solution. OCI block volume is connected to OCI bare metal host on which the ESXi is deployed. Block storage is offered as a service. It is specific to availability domain. We can begin with as low as 50 GB and scale out to 32 TB per volume. We can have a maximum of 32 volumes connected to an ESXi. All the 32 volumes combined together can have a maximum capacity of 1 petabyte. The size of the volumes can be extended on the fly and they can be also replicated to another region. Here are the high level steps that we need to perform. Create OCI block volume. Attach it to the bare metal host on which the ESXi is deployed. Map the iSCSI server on ESXi. And then format the OCI block volume to create a data store. As we mentioned earlier, OCI block volume is an AD specific service and it is important that it is mapped to the specific AD where the OCBS STDC is deployed. I'll show you on how to verify in our lab. Let's get going. I have created a one node STDC wherein my primary storage is a vSAN data store. If I navigate to OCI tenancy, click on the hamburger menu, hybrid option, click on VMware solution, Click on the OCVS STDC. I see that it is deployed in AD1. I now need to deploy my storage that is the block volume in the same AD. Click on the hamburger menu, storage option, click on block volume. Click on create block volume, specify a name. We now need to choose the availability domain. Make sure it is pointing to the one where the OCBS STDC is deployed. By default, it comes with one terabyte of storage. We can change as per the requirement. I'll proceed with a 400 GB. I'll keep the other options as default and click on the button create block volume. Block volume will take couple of minutes to be in the available state. We now need to attach the block volume to OCI bare metal. We need to scroll and choose the option attached instances. Click on attach to instance. Choose the access type as read write shareable. Put a check against the warning message. And now choose the ESXi or the bare metal host. And click on the button attach. We are now attaching the block volume to the bare metal host on which the ESXi is deployed. We need to wait for a couple of minutes and the state will get changed from attaching to connected. I now need to map iSCSI server to ESXi. Click on the three dots. Choose the option iSCSI commands and copy the IP address as shown on the portal. Navigate to the OCVS STDC. Choose the ESXi. Under configure, 
choose storage adapters. Select the iSCSI software adapter. Click on dynamic discovery and hit the add button. Enter the IP address that we copied from the Oracle portal and hit the OK button. We need to rescan for the storage. Once the rescanning is done, if we navigate to storage devices, we now see our Oracle backed volume which is of 400 GB that we created few minutes ago and it is in the not consumed state. We now need to create an ESXi data store. Right click on the ESXi, choose storage, new data store, choose VMFS as data store type and hit next. Highlight the volume, enter the name, hit next and finish the wizard. For all the other ESX size, we just need to rescan the storage and the volume will automatically be seen over there. This brings us to the end of the demo. Thank you.